What is going on guys? Five tips, five tips coming to you in five, four, three, two, one, shot. You guys know who it is, King of the Beasts. I love the way that Five Tips is evolving. Yes, 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 and another yes. Five Tips has evolved. This week, my five tips are on building a nationally qualified body. Building the best of the best body. Building a muscle, muscled up frame. Psych. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show you guys my five tips to the way that I specifically built my own frame to get ready for competitions and photo shoots. There's five major body parts that I specifically worked on and we're gonna be going through them. Number one, first body part that I used to work was biceps. Everybody loves biceps, except my biceps, because they are not predominantly most of my arm, I did more tricep exercises than I did bicep exercise. So that's the first tip, okay? When I did my bicep exercises, I would always combine two movements. So it would be a hammer and a bicep curl, or I would have a barbell and do a barbell curl with hammer curls. They were not my main focus when working my arms, okay? So, tip number two, when working your arms to get bigger arms, it's your triceps that need work. So you need to work more on your triceps than you do on your biceps because three quarters of your arm is technically and is your tricep. And what we want to do is if you want to have great arms, you want to have a full thick looking arm, you want to work those triceps more, okay? Tip number three, when you're working on your shoulders, for example, when you're doing, for example, shoulder presses or lateral raises, it is very important that you work your shoulders in all the ranges. What I mean by that is don't just focus on a pressing motion, don't just focus on a raise or a lateral or a reverse. You want to focus on all four of those movements. All four of those movements are going to round the shoulder, give you a better cap on the shoulder, okay? And what I mean by a cap on the shoulder, it's more of a roundness to the shoulder, okay? So, by doing that, you've got the arms in check, you've got the shoulders in check. If you have your shoulders in check and your arms in check, that already sets you up for a basically good frame. Next thing is the chest. A lot of guys like to work flat on a flat bench, which is fine, but one of the main things to work out on your chest is gonna be the upper chest, okay? And for the upper chest, you may have seen one of these bad boys, and that's gonna be an inclined chest, okay? For those of you who've never done an inclined chest before, what I want you to do is to come down on the bench, lay flat on your back, and we're gonna extend the arms. You're not gonna fully extend them because you wanna keep tension on the chest. Okay, so you don't want to do that fully extended. You want to keep tension on the chest. If you're a beginner and you're getting started, I would say three sets, 10 reps. If you're in the middle, I would say four sets of 12. If you're advanced, you can go as high as seven sets of 10. I've seen guys come high as seven uh, sets of 12, okay? So now we've got that upper chest built. It's looking great. The upper chest is visually pleasing because we've been working these. Next thing we're gonna look at is gonna be the back, okay? Your back is always gonna be giving the illusion of a Y-frame. Tip number five, thy back. You gotta do rows for the, I'm not gonna say, but anyway, you gotta do rows for your back. Rows are very important and I like to do rows in multiple ways. One of the many ways that I like to do a row is away from the bench. The classic row, people will do it on the bench You'll see guys stick their leg out here. I don't like this form of a row because it decreases my range of motion. By having my leg out there, I decrease that range of motion. I increase the range of motion by bringing it in and controlling. What's very important about that row for me is two seconds up, two seconds down. Two seconds up, two seconds down. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay? And 
the back is very important because when you're doing those rows, you're gonna be giving separation in your back. I like to do single arm rows, but also I accompany my rows with pull-ups. I do random amounts of pull-ups whenever I feel like doing pull-ups, whenever I don't feel like doing pull-ups, I do pull-ups for the sake of doing pull-ups, okay? I gave you those five tips, but then I'm gonna give you a bonus tip. Bonus tip is to work the legs. Regardless of the fact that I'm from Zimbabwe and I'm designed to be an ectomorph. Super thin legs, lean, sprinter, lion, chase him down, tearing up. I still work my legs, okay? You have to work your legs regardless of whether you do have good leg genetics or not because for your overall body composition, working the legs is great. My two very favorite exercises are gonna be a deadlift and they're gonna be a squat, okay? If you have any questions on deadlifting or squatting, make sure you subscribe to our channel and all the way down here, you can see videos of me showing how to do a deadlift and how to do a squat. With that said, I hope these five plus tips helped. I like the way that things are evolving, are changing, and I hope you guys stay close. Peace.